What you see is, of course, how much the purely electric players have risen. But the obvious question is this, who will be the next Tesla? How likely are NEO and BYD to succeed? Hello friends, welcome back to Tekshin. In today's video, we will see which can be the true prevailer in the EV market. But before we begin, do subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. So let's get started. China is one of the biggest markets for electric cars in the world. This is because the technology and automotive industries have grown a lot in the past 30 years. The people are also very loyal to domestic brands, which is why BYD and NIO have done so well. Both are well-known Chinese electric vehicle brands that have grown a lot in the past few years and had a lot of room to grow. But they don't approach the market the same way and they didn't start out the same way. By comparing their differences, you can find out which one is better right now or which one would best meet the needs of a customer. What's the difference between BYD and NIO? Both companies have done well in the Chinese market because they came up with new ideas and used their resources well. The market for electric cars is also growing quickly because more and more people want new cars that are good for the environment. Still, BYD and NIO have taken different steps to get the attention of Chinese customers. The first thing that stands out about both companies is how they began. BYD didn't start out with a plan to sell electric cars. BYD, which was founded in 1995, rapidly became an authority in rechargeable batteries and an advocate for green energy solutions. Before moving up the value chain, it made the first batteries for phones for Motorola and Nokia. BYD started out by making electric bikes, then moved on to mopeds, and then electric buses. Their plan was to figure out how other brands made their designs, then improve them and come up with new ones that could be mass-produced. This is great because BYD used its supply chain to put together new products to sell. For example, when it started making electric cars, the batteries for those cars came from its factories. William Lee started NEO much earlier, in 2014. He wanted to make a brand that looked like it came from the future. The sky and earth in the logo show that the company wants to make the world a better place. Sky shows what you can see, while Earth shows what you can do, where you're going, and how fast you're going. In 2016, NEO made its first car, the EP9 Supercar. The California Department of Vehicles also gave the company permission to start testing its cars on public roads. In its short eight-year history, NEO has never changed its goal of making the best electric cars on the market. BYD, on the other hand, didn't start out making cars. Over time, though, it changed to include that service. BYD started out making batteries and then moved on to car technology. Throughout its history, the company has worked to improve technologies and come up with new ways to design products in order to make more money. Wang Chuanfu, the president of BYD, said that the company not only sells cars to business customers, but also wants to be a bigger player in the market where customers buy cars. They also try to get BYD customers to stay with the company longer. You can also judge BYD's customers by looking at the models that sell the most. Here are some examples. The BYD Chin plus DMI, the BYD Song DM, and the BYD Han EV. The Chin and Song are electric models that cost less than $28,000, while the Han EV is a luxury sedan. The EP9, which was NEO's first model, made a big splash on the market, especially since it was a $3.48 million supercar. Technically, the EP9 isn't a road legal car, but it set the tone for NEO's models and the market they were going for. The ES8, an electric SUV that came out in 2017, was NEO's first mass-market electric car. The next year, NEO made the ES6, an electric SUV with a lot of power. Both are more expensive than the EP9, but neither is as expensive as the EP9. So a NEO is certainly not a cheap car. In China, having a NEO is kind of like joining a club. There are clubs for NEO owners, just like there are chat groups for Tesla owners. The NEO app also lets owners get help from real people so that they can have a better experience. BYD may put technology first, but it has focused on giving the market electric vehicles that are priced in a way that makes sense. The goal has been to sell to everyone. NEO hasn't taken the same approach with its low-income offerings as it has with its high-income ones. As a leading maker of electric cars, NEO has focused on one type of customer, wealthy Chinese people. They were able to do this because the company sold 50,000 electric vehicles before 2020. One of the company's founders, Li Hongqin, said that this is the first time in Chinese history that a domestic brand has sold this much. NIO, on the other hand, has only been good at making luxury sedans and SUVs. 
there may be plans to reach out to other types of customers, but these plans are still in the making. On the other hand, BYD has not only thought about every type of customer, but it also started out in a different business. It put money into making batteries, assembly lines, and semiconductors. When BYD got into the car business, it was able to support itself. So BYD has expanded its business to include most of the parts of an electric vehicle, the supply of parts, and assembly. NEO has only focused on putting together its cars, but CATL and Qualcomm make parts like its batteries and chips. BYD and NEO have gone in different directions over the years, but they are both important in the market for electric cars. Both companies work in a fast-growing industry that relies on innovation and sustainability. Because of this, they have a few things in common that are worth pointing out. BYD and NEO have had a big effect on the market for electric cars. Their presence is not just in China. For example, BYD has spread its operations as well as models to more than 50 countries around the world. BYD is pushing for electric taxis and other forms of public transportation in Singapore. Even though NEO hasn't grown as much as its competitor, it does do business in Europe. The company sells cars in Norway right now, and it wants to start selling cars in Germany, Sweden, and the Netherlands. In February 2022, NEO CEO William Lee said that the company would offer services in more than 25 countries and regions. Because the businesses that BYD is made up of are doing well, the stock of the company has been able to go up a lot. For instance, when there was a shortage of chips, BYD wasn't as badly affected as other companies because it makes its own chips. Even though BYD has been making cars for a long time, its sales have grown steadily. During the first half of 2021, BYD's sales went up by 53%. This should lead to business growth in the long run. BYD is also slowly spreading its business to all continents. In 2021, Mexico, Colombia, Uruguay, Brazil, and Costa Rica got the first electric BYD hand models. Plans are also being developed for the United States and other markets. NEO is a younger company, so it is less stable. However, it has grown a lot. The plan is similar to Tesla's in that it starts with high-end models for wealthy customers and then moves on to more affordable but still high-quality options. It worked because NEO went from making 43,728 units in 2020 to making 91,429 units in 2021. The company wants to sell its cars in Europe before it sells them in the US and South America. This should make it one of the most important players in the electric vehicle market. BYD has a number of software solutions, such as BYD Energy Ems, which is a high-efficiency application for monitoring energy use. Users can use it to check how the product is working in real-time from afar. The NEO app, on the other hand, is more advanced because it combines functions and lets users talk to real-life assistants. NEO owners can look through online stores and talk to other people in a user forum. As BYD and NEO keep growing, they will definitely make changes to the software packages. What do you think will win NEO or BYD? Let us know in the comments below. That's all for today. Hope you all liked our video. So don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to see more of our incredible videos. Look forward to seeing you in the next video.